Yo, what's happening? It's your boy Tales of Creed. What's going on, my homies? Nah, I just did that intro to piss some people off, but hey, guys, what's going on? Tales of Creed here. Welcome back to some more Lufia 2. Last time, well, we got stuck on this puzzle to get three chests on the other side of this door, and well, it's actually pretty devious. What you gotta do is place one of these here and watch this. It's gonna like, yeah. It's so weird. It like, it like freaks out on you, and then, and then I, it, it just freaks out even more. And then what you gotta do is just place this block there, and it's like, ooh. Yeah, I don't get it either. I mean, you place a block and everything like magically disappears. Anyway, you get a dragon egg, a mystery ring, and a big shield. <clears throat> I don't think any of those are useful, actually. Let me check. Oh, oh the mystery ring's okay. Uh, but I don't want to lose agility. That just gave me an idea, actually. Let's keep that in mind for later. Okay. The big shield isn't that great here compared to the thing we have on. Anyway, we want to head back... Now that we have the key, which we got in the last episode, we want to head back to this room and go this way. And if you can't tell, I actually did read up on this. And I kind of play tested it through the whole way. Use the light key. Anyway, how you guys doing today? Um, I'm still using my kind of broken mic. I mean, it like goes out, but if you if I like go, get away. <laughs> I'll be right back. That fight was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be, thanks to Fireball. Forgot how powerful that spell is. So. That's awesome. That's actually a new enemy. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and show it. Come here. Come here. Come here! Thank you. Yeah, we have Snatchers. Not that powerful. Compared to like- Oh, Dario, why do you keep defending? Uh, well, they do have a lot of HP, I'll say that. Anyway, I've just been, uh, I've been playing, like, assortment of games. I, I don't even know what I'm talking about, so I'm just randomly going off on stuff. Because there's not much to talk about when a fight goes on. It's actually Monday, uh, I'm recording this early, you know, because I haven't recorded Lufia that often, so I was like, eh, I think I'm going to record Lufia today. So, yeah, today's Monday, uh, what is it, March 21st, I think? I don't know. Oh, damn it! I'll bear pack. Okay, that fight was easy. And I need to heal up, actually. Uh, there we go. Now, if I remember correctly, let's try and avoid this. See if I can run away. Come on. Yeah. Don't feel like fighting right now. Leave me alone. Goddamn horse. Okay, here. If you look over there, there's a chest. We're getting that chest. We don't have to, but we're getting it. So, uh... What we got to do here is, uh... Push this over here. Get crack. Get the bomb out. Now, don't stand on it. You need this. You need that pillar, so... Make sure to take it with you. Oh, I'm so, I'm so instructive, you know, it's so boring. <laughs> anyway, you get a B-Rock. Now that we have this B-Rock, I have an idea, so... I'm gonna check this out. No, no. Well, we're gonna need the hook shot anyway, so... Okay, I have an idea. Now, if we put the mystery ring on, we get an increase of attack, but you lose agility. But if you put the B-Ring on... Get um. Well, you lose a lot of strength that way, though. Let me look at the stats if I do that. So you get your agility back, and brings all oh, just raises defense, really. 
You know, I'm just gonna stick with speedy run. It's not horrible. Okay, anyway, back over here. Um, th I think there's something over there. I actually want to check. Like, I didn't check in my little... Anyway, I didn't check in my playtest of this, of this dungeon, but, uh... There is a door over there, really... Well, it's a long girl level in that fight, and there's a door here I want to check. Oh my god. Okay, let's hope I don't run into anything. Oh, wow, really? That's it? But we're getting that on the way. What the hell was the point of this room? Okay, go, go. Go away. What's over there? No, let's... Come on. Why would they make this room? We're getting this anyway. Hey! That room was completely pointless. We're getting that anyway. Okay, you know what? Never mind. We're not even going to talk about it. Okay, let's go. We're heading for the top. We're going to save our son. See, look! We're getting it right now! What the hell was the point? We were going to get it anyway. Wow! Never mind. I'm not even going to... Eh. Anyway, we're at the top. Well, now we're at the top. And I'm actually going to get into one more fight, because... You know, he's close to leveling up, so come here. Come here. Look, it's gonna happen either way. You know what, let's fight this guy. Yeah, let's keep this in for the hell of it. I think, have I shown off these cancer guys? I don't know. Doesn't matter, they kind of die fast. Thanks to uh, her fireball spell. Yep, Kree gets a level up. Okay, before... Well, yeah, we can go in, I think. Okay, yeah. For this, all you have to do is push these here, and then do this. Easy enough. Before we go any farther, make sure to equip the cold rapier, because the boss is weak against ice. Jeros! You're here. Jeros okay, isn't he? Wow, Jeros is okay, isn't he? <laughs> Never mind. Don't worry, he's just fine for now. What did my son ever do to you? I am under orders from a certain someone to ensure your bloodline ceases, Creed. My bloodline? We do not need to talk, really, now do we? Don't you move. One step more, and you'll never see daylight again. Oh, I forgot. His fate will be grim, no matter what you try to do. <laughs> um, wait, what? Oh. Oh, cool! <laughs> I was like, wait, what? What? Great, now! Um, yeah! Time to fight the gay-ass motherfucking knight who wears pink armor, and he looks like a fruit. He looks like a fruitcake, I'm sorry. Okay, we're gonna start off with the Glacial Blast. That'll do a shitload of damage to him. Um, do we have anything? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Let's try a head attack. Boom. Oh! 700 freaking damage! I don't know how much HP this guy has, but... He, oh my gosh! We just completely murked him. Uh-oh. Oh, I love this music! It's always nice to hear this music. Overall, I don't think this is a very tough boss, but oh my god, that does- OH MY GOD! Okay, okay, you got me, you got me, okay. Um, I actually want to do another head attack now. We need to get rid of that thing, that thing is a lot of friggin' damage. Oh no, please don't kill her. Oh, we killed him! Come on! Oh! Oh, thank god he didn't attack her, she would've been screwed. Okay. I can't believe we killed him that fast, that was awesome. Die! Come on, Fumi Punch! Yeah! 20,000 experience! 
Salon gets a level up. Is Dario? Yep, Dario's getting a level up. Oh, man. Oh, I'm dying. <laughs> that was retarded. Oh, my baby. Jeroz. It's okay now. Iris. Good to see you again, Cree. I began my journey as you told me. I've met many people in many places, and I met Salon. I defeated Goddess and brought peace to the world. You did mean that I was to fight Goddess. Exactly, but your fate has changed. What do you mean? If you had died when you defeated Goddess, peace would have returned to the world. Really? Are you kidding me? But you married Salon and left a descendant. You were supposed to die in that tower, but I... The flow of time is, e is changing. Even I cannot see the future anymore. I can tell you it's time for you to go. To protect your loved ones, you must fight again. Are you saying there is an even stronger enemy than Goddess? If in fact you have the power to change fate, you will one day know the truth. Wow, so if he had died, the world would have been saved. Free. Salon, is Jerosa right? Yes. You're going, aren't you, Creed? I must go, to protect you and Jeros. I'm going with you. <laughs> no, you can't. You must stay with our son. If I were just an ordinary mother, I could wait with Jeros for you to come back. But I'm different. I know how to fight. I want to fight to protect Jeros. You may not be able to see Jeros again once you go on. If we can't defeat this enemy, I mean, the enemy, this world will end sooner or later anyway. But... But what? I will come back to Jeros and lead a quiet life with you and Jeros in a world at peace. I knew I couldn't stop you. Okay, the first thing we should do is track down Edora. Before that, let's go back to Parcelite. We can't take Jeros with us. Alright. Auntie, please look after my Jeros for me. Don't worry about Jeros, but Salam, why do, you, why do you have to fight? My only hope was for you to have the ordinary happiness of a mother, you know. Auntie, I am happy. I fight for the people I truly love. What mother can do this? Yeah, you do it. Oh, I forgot to put it on her. Okay, I'll put it on her later. I'll put it on her in the next episode. I guess that's another way to look at it. In any case, I'll take care of Jeros just fine. Thank you, I'm counting on you. Slon, you have to come back. Jeros needs you. I know, I know, Monty. And with that, we are going to go on this magical, fantastic journey with... Wait for it. I said I'd do it next episode, but I'm going to do it now. With Salon in a Bikini. Alright, so I will see you guys next time.